Hey guys, welcome back. This is the third video in my Philips Hue series. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about the Philips Hue Disco app. Now this is a third party app and it's featured on the Philips Hue app itself as well. So what this app pretty much does is it's able to create disco scenes. And it's a really cool app that's great for when you have parties or when you have friends over. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use that today. If you haven't already subscribed, then please go ahead and subscribe below. All right guys, let's get started. So let's open up the Hue Disco app. Now on the left hand side, you have a lot of different options. You have microphone sensitivity, change amount, theme, brightness, colorful. You also have different transitions that we'll talk about later on. Then on, there's three buttons on the bottom. Uh, the middle button is a strobe button and the third button is a play button for starting the disco show. The left hand button is for beats, which is able to detect the beats based on the sound of your music. So let's go ahead and press play. So the play starts an automatic disco show since we already have that setting automatically on. Now what this does is cycle through all the different options. Now let's change the microphone sensitivity. So a lower sensitivity means that the color changing doesn't happen as fast. A higher sensitivity would be better. For change amount, having a low change amount makes the colors change a lot faster. Then you have theme, which you're able to choose a theme. And you have three ones that are already pre-made for you, and then you can always create your own as well. So it's pretty easy. Um, all you do is you press the plus button and you can add a different color of your choice. And then you have two different options as well. So you also have the brightness setting. So I like to keep it on all the way dark and all the way light. So it's able to change the whole entire spectrum from brightness from highest brightness to lowest brightness as well. Then you also have the colorful setting. Now there's another big option is auto disco. So auto disco goes ahead and changes all the different options that you have. Um, it's able to cycle through the different transitions which are smooth, snap, and mix. So turning off auto disco, I can show you the different transitions that you can do. There's smooth, there's snap, and then there's mix. And mix is a mix of snap and smooth based on the music changing. So I'm gonna put auto disco back on. And now we're gonna look at the tab beats option. So this, what this basically does is it listens to the beats that are being outputted from your speakers and it's able to change directly based on that. So it calculates the beats per minute and changes the music each light at a time. So the lights flash going with the music. All right, so now let's access the strobe light setting. So you just tap the strobe light button and you have the random order settings and you have different options. Now the options that you can choose from are white, custom color, rainbow, you have theme, you have new color, and you have black light. So now let's try out mood. Mood is the tab right next to disco. So now by pressing play on the mood tab, you have a different lighting dynamic lighting setting. So by pressing mood theme, you have all these different options. So let's try out the candle option. So the candle option alternates different colors with each of the lamps and it gives you different color controls as well. You have max brightness, colorful, and speed. So you can change it to any of these different themes that you want and it'll dynamically change based on that. You can also go in and make your own theme as well too, which is a pretty neat feature. So to make your own theme, you just press the plus button all the way to the top right and you add as many colors as you want and choosing you choose the color based on the color picker. You have the brightness options as well. And then you pretty much name it and that's it. You're good to go. And then it'll show up right on the bottom. So now let's go to the lights tab. Now the lights show you all the different bulbs that are connected to the system and you can turn them on or off based on that. Um, under the more for hue, you have different apps that are available for in-app purchases as well. So on the left hand side, you have the color editor, which lets you choose the current theme and changes the colors for that. Then you have the settings app, which gives you a whole bunch of different settings that you can use like disco, which auto starts, auto start mood, auto play disco after BPM or strobe. You have all these different options that you can go through based on what you want and what you're looking for out of this app. So there's a lot of good options here that'll make this a good and fun experience for you. And that's the Hue Disco app. Now again, this is the third party app and it is available for purchase on the App Store. If you have any other further questions about the Hue Disco app, then please feel free to comment below and I'll get back to you. If you really like this video, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. 
If you really, really like this video, then go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, guys.